behind the scenes of my vlogs. Okay, I'm gonna make Rainbow some lunch so he's entertained. He's already found some chips or something down here. Um, I try and do it in the afternoon when Mila is awake so that she can be in the videos. Um, I just try and keep Roman entertained, although he ends up in the room with me anyway because he's interested in what I'm doing and so whatever, you know, he can be in the vlog if he wants to, so that's fine. But I just try and find something for him to do for at least the first few minutes anyway. <laughs> Makeup now for me. Mila's under her jungle gym, like, doing what she does best. Alright, so I'm just gonna whip some stuff onto my face to try and, because the thing about being in the camera and in front of a window, see look at the difference. Okay here, you know, my face looks kind of crap, whatever, but then you go in front of a window and you can see everything. So um, I try and film like kind of in front of Mila's window because it's good lighting, but it just means you can see like all the blemishes and it's really awful. So um, I just do a little bit of makeup. Alright, so that's hair. Well, today I decided to keep my hair down. Sometimes I put it up, sometimes I don't. Depends on what I can be bothered doing. So, um, face is done. Um, Mela's getting a bit snotty, so um, I'm going to feed her. And when I'm feeding her, I normally do all my notes on my phone. So, I'm going to go and do that. Thanks, Mela. You say hi. <laughs> hi. And there's Roman. Have you finished lunch, darling? Yeah. I'm just going to feed Mela. Alright, so I'm gonna feed Mila, do my notes, where's my phone? Oh my gosh, I always do that. Where is my phone? Phone! My phone! It's been a whole fortnight since I've done my last Mila and Me vlog. I think I just got really busy and I just missed out on that week, so um, I don't even know what week I'm up to now. Week 20 something two, maybe 22. Alright, so here's my notes. Yes, my phone is still not fixed. Roman did all this and I still haven't got it fixed, so these are all my all my notes for the day and it's just kind of what I refer to in my videos just to make sure I stay on track okay so the, the bedroom situation is not great <laughs> at the moment because Daisy and Brendan have moved in so this is the state of the room yes there is a queen bed now in the middle of Mila's bedroom which makes things slightly difficult. How I normally sit out this room is I move this chair around here facing the window and I, my tripod usually sits here. No room in here to keep my tripod at the moment. Um, my tripod is massive. So this is what I use to film on. Um, this is my glider and I actually use this for weddings, not really YouTube. Occasionally I'll use it for YouTube. But um, so basically what it does is it means, oh, let's see if I can show you. That looks blurry in my camera in, in here, but it's actually not blurry on there. So what it does is you loosen the tension on this. Alright, that's as kind of good as I can get it. Okay, watch. So you get this beautiful gliding movement. See how it makes it nice and stable? Ooh. Ah, how cool is that? It's actually a very expensive piece of equipment, so I wouldn't recommend buying one unless you're actually doing wedding videography or something like that. Um, don't go buying it for YouTube because it's not worth it. It's not ideal, but this is just how it's going to have to go. I've decided that in the meantime, while Brennan and Stacey are in this room, they're in this room only till the end of the year, so um, then they've got the caravan, but at the moment... They're in Mila's room, um, so, and I can't really, I normally sit in that chair, but I can't really get it to here without it's struggling, so I'm using our old computer chair there. That's not really in an ideal place either, but it will do. I guess the bonus of having this is that I can put it here, but I can move my camera all the way to this side. So then what I do is I sit down in my chair, I turn this on, let's see what we can see. Hello! So I look at this here and I figure out all my lighting, make sure everything isn't too uh, bright or too dark. Um, yeah, so that looks that looks pretty good to me. You can see that way. So this is what it looks like from my angle. Hello. Um, this feels weird filming on like two cameras right now, but yeah, here's here's kind of my view. This is what. This is what it looks like for me when I'm filming. Roman is 
happily sitting down watching a movie so I'm going to take advantage of that and actually get filming. So between me turning this camera off right now and going and getting Mila I'm just going to quickly pick up all the bits and pieces that I need for the to show you guys the baby buys and all that kind of stuff and then I will officially be starting to film. Okay I've put Mila down on the floor down here next to me because I'm going to have this camera in this hand and then I've got to film on this camera here so it's going to make things a little difficult. So she's just going to go down here until I kind of get to put this camera down. Alright guys, you ready to go live? Let's have a look. You can watch me on this. You can watch like this. Alright, we're, we're on a slight angle here. Why are we on an angle? We don't want to be on an angle. Let me just adjust this as to why we're on an angle. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Alrighty. Let's go live. Hi everyone and welcome to Mila and Me week 22 and 23. You're probably thinking, why the heck are you holding this camera here? What are you doing holding this? Okay, to you guys, does this look really weird? Are you confused or are you confused? Which one of you is confused? Because I'm confusing myself because I've got both cameras going at once. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you guys first. I am doing a behind the scenes video of... My Mila and me vlogs and that's why I have this camera here. Let's get into it. So I haven't done this vlog for a fortnight. I feel like it's been such a long time since I talked to you guys. Even though I've done vlogs other than the Mila and me's. You know, but I just feel like it's been forever since I've actually sat down and talked to you guys. And I did my pregnancy loss and awareness. Um, and here comes Roman. I told you Roman would be here soon. Would you like to show the camera what you've got? Blue cars. They're not blue, they're yellow. But do you know what type of cars they are? Vida Beatles. Whose are they? Stacy's. They're Stacy's. That's right. So Stacy and Brennan. Alright you guys. So that's the end of that. Um, that's the end of that part of vlogging. I don't know if we, whether I'm going to make this a two part video because now I have to do the editing part which is also one of my favourite parts. I love doing the editing. Okay guys, welcome to the editing process. Alright, so what happens here is I chuck an SD card in there and I copy it into here. This is basically my external hard drive which has absolutely everything I've ever taken photos of or videos of. Um, I've got all my pregnancy diaries from Roman, Mila, my infertility stuff all in here, my IVF diaries. Um, anyway, so we got IVF mummy diaries. These are all of Roman's videos if you remember some of these. Wasn't he so little and cute? Okay, my computer's running rather slow. Anyway, that's not what we're in here for. Okay, so Mila's ones. Um, I made a folder here called Mila and Make Week 21, 23. And I just pop them in here so that they're always in here. Okay, I use a Final Cut Pro. Hope you can see everything. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Alrighty. Okay, so you go up here and you go file, new project, and I just named it Mailer and May Week 22, 23. Um, and then you go down here and you import, so just go to that folder, and I import everything, which I've already done. So here it all is here. Um, I've just got a, this one here is the um, one that I put all of the Mailer and May vlogs in. Excuse me. Um, I've just recently cleared it out, so it's just this one at the moment. So then I drag it down into my storyboard here. And so I've done that already. And I just basically watch the whole thing. And as you can see here, these are bits that I've cut. Either I've paused to look at my phone to check the details that I'm telling you, or one of the kids is screaming and I have to deal with them, or something like that. Like right now, that is yellow, darling. That is a yellow beta beetle. Um, what can I tell you? So, um, I get to the end, I go blah 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 blah, see you guys in my next vlog, and then I choose music, and I choose this one, it's called Summertime, I really like the end of this one, and I just chuck it kind of at the end. Oh, you'll see here, this is really random, you'll be like, why is this just you and Mila at the end kind of snuggling and cuddling? I do that at the end of my video because that's how I get my thumbnail um, so all of this is not part of my vlog um, so I need to move 
Oh, select all. So the shortcuts here, A is to move it down, R is to cut pieces. And then you kind of go in here and there's this little bit here and you go like that and that kind of does the fade. So and we'll just go like that. so awesome to catch up with you guys because I feel like it's going forever and it hasn't. And um, I will see you in my next vlog. We'll just say goodbye to Mila quickly. And she's chewing on her taggy. <laughs> chewing on her taggy. You say bye. There you go, and that's kind of my out music. Alright, um, and then I've made this new thing here to put at the end of my vlogs to put in a suggested video that's to change the length, what I just did there. Um, so I put a cute little family photo there. I've, I'm going to be putting in my um, Instagram and my Facebook so people can find me. And in here I'm going to put a little bit of video. So to do that you just come over here, you select a bit of video, you pop it in the top here. Don't really want any audio though. Put the audio down, make the music. Oh, I've run out of music. Let's just put it, let's just move it along. Alright, and then over here you go like this. I'm going to transform it. Make it smaller so it fits in this little box here. Kind of want enough white to make it look like a border. So yeah, you're going to have that, and then it's going to be, how far, there we go, there we go, so how cute is that? Then I'm going to put subscribe here, da 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 da, and I'm going to put something along the lines of, you might be interested in this, or watch this, and that's just cut out because that one's, that's where that's finished, so you need to drag along to there, so they both kind of finish at the same time. I normally do, there's lots of special effects in here, like the only one I might normally use in these vlogs. These vlogs I keep pretty, pretty simple, like, you know, they, there's not a whole lot of editing that needs to be done. Like that, so that just makes it, means that it kind of, there we go, kind of fades in, sort of like overlaps, overlaps the two bits of footage and it just makes it look kind of fancy. Um, and then once I've done that, I go up here, file, share, share to YouTube. Um, and that usually takes, I don't know, a few hours to upload. And then I just go on about my daily business or whatever. Um, and then to make my thumbnail, because I do custom thumbnails. So we find cute little section of video. Oh, that's me about to kiss her. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. How about we just go there? Okay, so you just make sure it's on there. And then you go up the top. Where are we? Up here. And then you go, far this is kind of like a tutorial on how to use Final Cut Pro, isn't it? Um, you go share, and then you go save at current frame. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Save current frame. Alright, so that's just going to save to my desktop. I don't want it to that desktop. There we go. Okay, so that's going to save to my desktop. Then what I do is I go down here into Safari. And I go to... Ooh, fireworks on sale. Yes. Pixlr. It's just what I use just because it's really quick and easy website to use when you're in a hurry. Um, we'll just go to, no, I don't use Express first, I use Editor first, Editor. Alright, open image from computer, we go desktop, and there's our little picture there. There it is. Alrighty, then I pop over here. I use this tool here. I oh, need to make the picture a bit smaller so I can see all the edges. There we go. All right, and then we go over here, do a big long line like this. Yeah, about there. That all that looks good. Right, we need to fill it and we need to choose a color. Hope you guys can see this properly. I'm doing this rather quickly because I don't want it to be really long. So I kind of choose a color that's associated with this picture here. So it would probably be you know, Mila's wearing red, so we'll choose that colour. That's quite dark, so we'll choose a brighter one. This is quite a bit of red. Might be too much red. 
Mmm, that's really, really bright. I don't like that. Right, well, yeah, we'll undo that. What about... What about this one here? What's that colour? How's that? Oh, that's okay. And then I go up here. Oh, yep, save it to desktop. Yep. Right, up here it says editor. Then I go to express. Honestly, this website is so good for such, you know, real quick, real quick editing. All right, then we choose our picture. Da, da, da. There is probably a much easier way to do this, but I just, <laughs> I like to make things difficult for myself. Okay, go down here, go to this one, put in Mila, Mila, and me. This is really difficult doing this, this oops, not the me, with one hand. Um, I keep the same font to try and tie all the videos in together. I use Genesu. I use that for quite a lot of things. Put it up here. Of course, it doesn't look like this. I'm just doing it fast. Yeah, about there. Looks good. Right, save that. Um, and then I use this one over here for the me. Right, okay. So we've got this. Um, and of course, I just like the look of the words being behind. So we come over here and we use this little tool here. Where is it? And it's called like the clone stem. So it clones a bit of... Um, of whatever the area you're selecting so I want to get rid of this out of my hair so I need to select a bit that looks like my hair so you click on command I'm gonna do it with my elbow right now there we go and if you right click it can make it larger or smaller brush so I'm just gonna go make it smaller brush there we go um, you click on the area that you want it to look like right done then you click on the area that you want it to cover there we go um, I use like a brush that's um, not as hard, don't want hard. And then I save it and then I upload it to my YouTube. And so that's how I do all my editing. Um, if we go to YouTube quickly, go over here, go over here. Um, this is like what I see. What's the matter, darling? Right, okay, so this is my dashboard. This is what I see, this is what it all looks like. So let's go into Mila's new name just for example. We'll just pretend that this is my Mila and me vlog. Um, I'll put in my custom thumbnail that we just Mommy, made. Mommy, um, Mommy, I will be putting in the same description that I put in every week except the first kind of line Can I'll just put a out? small description. And then down here I'll put all the tags which is usually to do with IVF pregnancy, babies and stuff like that. Um, monetization, yep. I monetize every video. Usually they all kind of monetize themselves. Normally I don't actually have to do that. It's just it's just automatic, which is good. Um, I make it public because it's normally private. Save changes. And then it's live to you guys. And then I watch the video. See, what was the last Me or Me vlog I did? This one here. Oh, jeepers, that was a while ago. Um, and then I copy and paste the link into Facebook for you guys to watch. So I know that was really, really quick, but um, that's basically how I edit my vlogs. I didn't want to make this really too long, but um, <laughs> um, it takes me probably, and let's say probably 30, 40 minutes to edit a vlog, and then I'm done, you know, as well as doing the photo, the thumbnail. Um, so all up between filming, doing my makeup, and editing and all that, it probably takes me just over an hour. And so that's once a week, and then all my other vlogs, probably a good Play hour that. as well. Um, um, yeah, draw the back of that. Yeah, so um, that's it. And so, I mean, sometimes it's difficult because I've got kids and they interrupt a lot and stuff like that, but I enjoy doing it, that's why I keep doing it. So um, I just thought you would enjoy a little insight into how I do my vlogs. So I hope you enjoyed this. And um, now I'm going to go do all that that I just showed you for this video here. <laughs> okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye! Hey, thanks for watching. To follow the rest of my journey, click on subscribe. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. You can catch up with me and the family on Facebook and Instagram. And I will see you in my next vlog.